Hello friends in today's episode we look into what is rose dieback disease what are the causes for this rose plant dieback problem and the best methods for prevention and treatment of rose dieback disease coming up Before we start please make sure you have subscribed to my channel with the bell notification clicked So let's begin What is rose dieback disease Rose dieback is a condition commonly affecting rose plants where there is browning or blackening of the tip of the rose stem or a branch which then travels down towards the graft and then may engulf the whole plant causing death. It can either be a branch dieback or the main stem dieback towards the graft. It is in fact a commonly encountered problem by every gardener and can sometimes be too bad causing death of the plant if no intervention is done. Now what are the causes of rose dieback problem any factor that contributes to stress on the rose plant can result in dieback the actual agent that causes this dieback problem is the fungus which starts multiplying and then engulfing the entire plant they gain entry from an any form of physical injury to the plant and can even be from a simple scratch to a bad pruning technique not taking enough aseptic precautions especially not cleaning the cutter not cutting at 45 degree cutting angle and things like that you can watch my detailed video on all pruning techniques and how to safely perform plant pruning from an end screen link at the end of this video well now the other factors that are believed to cause this rose dieback problem both overwatering and underwatering can cause this problem and then another cause is poor quality soil with no proper nutrients then poor absorption from the soil due to soil ph problems rose plant needs a ph of around 6.5 i've discussed in detail about soil ph and ways to check and rectify these in my previous episodes please check description links to watch those related videos after this episode then the fourth cause can be physiological meaning a normal process that can occur on a branch that has already flowered and if it has no further buds or no yields expected in that branch this is a natural response to conserve energy for the rest of the plant so dieback process can happen by itself then now moving on to the treatment of rose dieback problem firstly we look into the non chemical methods and the preventive steps firstly soil preparation when you plant a rose the initial soil is very important to prevent rose dieback disease ensure there are enough nutrients including micro and macro nutrients to the plant to gain that strength and to combat any infection you can check out some good soil preparation recipes from a link at top right corner of this video or from the description links then check soil drainage hole if it's grown in containers there should not be water logging also always use a well draining soil mixture for roses or any plant for that matter avoid using clay soils that is clay rich soil You can watch few good soil recipes from my video titled Universal Potting Mix Recipes. I'll link that related videos in the description below. Then now the most important step to treat rose dieback problem that is pruning. It is a very important step for treatment as well as prevention of rose dieback disease. First of all, for beginners in gardening, when you start to perform pruning, do not take it lightly. You have to follow protocols. Some people due to laziness or whatever reason just take their cutting tool and start snipping their plants. This is not done. Please always clean or wipe the cutter with a disinfectant like uh, rubbing alcohol or 6% hydrogen peroxide or at least the home antiseptic solution from your first aid box. Optionally, better to wipe the pruning tool after every cut. Regarding how to make the cuts and the exact procedure for pruning, please check out my important video on pruning techniques from a link at the end screen or from the top right card links the main treatment of dieback disease is pruning the involved stem or branch with aseptic precautions cut off the entire involved stem including an inch of the normal stem above it and then dispose it safely away from other rose plants that is it then finally the chemical treatment nothing much this is usually applied or sprayed after the pruning process that is cutting the involved branches You can use any broad spectrum antifungal powder like the saf powder which is a combination of carbendazim and mancozip combination. If you prefer to be completely organic, direct neem oil application at the cut end will also help. If you do not have anything, at least try to apply some turmeric powder to the cut end. This way you can stop 
further progression of this problem. Then rose dieback and black spot rose disease are the two most common problems affecting rose plants. Also please watch my episodes on the black spot rose disease and the correct pruning techniques circled right here. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel. Happy gardening!